Hello everybody, Quantum Sniper here and this is Fallout 4 Survival Mode. We have made initial contact with the Minuteman. Some guy was up there on the balcony hollering at us to pick up a laser rifle down here and bring it to him. So that's what we're going to do. Going through the doors right now. Join me. This will probably end peacefully. Peaceful contact. Make new friends. Holy crap, people are already fighting. What the heck? Raider up there. I don't know if I can hit his head. I'll try. Yeah, I'm not getting him. Wasted shots. Oh, that was a lucky shot. I was actually able to get him. Whoa. <laughs> Ola. What is going on up there? Those look like a verde bird up there. What the heck? I don't know if that was a good guy or a bad guy. And does it really matter? <laughs> No, it doesn't. Not to me. Go ahead and reload the gate. Advanced. I can't unlock that. Or can I? I can unlock it. I just took a part for that. It's silly. Oh, darn. Come on, man. I'm gonna be able to get this. There we go. Hope we're doing the right thing, dog meat. Nothing there now. Yeah, nothing there now. Oh. Shit, you son of a you lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, just walk up right up on me. Sure, why not? <laughs> that was pretty foolish of you, dude. And you had a shotgun as well. You're pretty goofy. Ah, you don't have much else. I can definitely unlock this. It's just novice. Got Fusion core. I'm gonna sell it, I suppose. He's got a shotgun, but it's not gonna be better than my awesome widow shotgun. What do you think about this dog meat? Right away. Tarberry. Upper skull. Not against collecting skulls. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. Sound like a couple of raiders. You <laughs> Having an argument. So I put a stop to that. What you got on you, dude? Ooh, a switchblade. Actually, Long John's. We'll grab that for the moment. Because aren't they, don't they give you, um, oh, it's just damage resistance. I thought perhaps they might give you a point in endurance or something. So that's pretty useless. I don't need that. I'll drop that. Okay. My mistake. Um... 45 rounds. I need 44 rounds. And I'm also looking for food, which is why I'm checking these coolers. Because in the last episode, we pretty much ran out of food. And things were looking bad for us. Come on, dog meat. You gotta move out of the way, dude. 
I've got a job to do. I was hoping something might be in this dark corridor, but it doesn't seem so, so I will open this door, and I don't want to step off of there, because that's a good way to break my leg. Come on, dog meat. I'm coming in there, and I'm going to skin every last one of you. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I got to go take a little walk, but I'll be back, and you'll be dead. Are those the Minutemen yelling like that? If so, they're my kind of people. Let's get his foot. Damn! Yeah, crap. Alright, dude. I ought to be able to get your head with a 62% chance! Damn. Must have been an explosive Get round. <laughs> oh, that's some lousy, that's some lousy shooting. <laughs> that looks better. <laughs> Instead of his damn head blowing up. Whoa, dog meat's running in there after something. Gotta be careful, dog meat. Where'd you go, buddy? Let me check these bodies. <laughs> Shotgun shell. As I said before, I do kind of prefer to make my own weapons and ammo. But as it stands right now, I am a little low. So I'll run the risk that these shotgun rounds aren't duds. Which is a bit of a dangerous risk. I don't know that I would actually... I don't know that I would actually um, risk my life on, on that. Finding some stuff I, I can sell where we came in and that looks to be about it I sure hell I've already burned up there no idea what it's doing up there anything else down this way it's not who is that guy I'm gonna put a round through his head let's, let's give him a warning shot coming in so you better behave I don't put up with goofiness what are you people doing man in here? I don't know who you are but your time is impeccable Preston Garden Commonwealth Minuteman God damn it. uh Minuteman well okay uh, you owe me pal you owe me Maybe. yeah sure thing I'll give you my chest full of emeralds just as soon as we're out of this mess. Whoa, you have a chest full of emeralds? Dude, hand them over! Look, pal, I got my own problems. I have my own problems, Garvey. Yeah? You help us, maybe we can help you. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Well, that's life. Now we're five. Well, that's the way it goes. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Oh, well tough break. It's a cruel world, dude. What can I tell you? Sounds rough, though. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Huh. Thanks. Nah, no, that ain't it's it. good to meet someone who really cares. <laughs> no, I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. We figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. Maybe. But, well, we do have one nope. idea. Well, look, Concord is not a good place to settle because I have a base right next door at the Red Rocket truck station or car station or whatever the hell it is and I really don't need to hear you people screaming and getting shot at at night because I need my sleep you know what I'm saying so I mean you guys really Didn't just have to leave room, did you uh, pal you better watch your goddamn mouth better be a good one Sturgis tell it 
There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Yeah, I saw it, Old genius. School. I'm not blind. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Then why don't you Military walk the ass issue. up there and get it? It sounds useful. I guess. Um... Why would power armor be sitting around? Surely some raider would have grabbed that. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Burn. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Dude, I've fought raiders before. I don't need a freaking minigun. It might work, I guess. Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. Uh... Is there a solution, like, perhaps... A power cell which was sitting in a generator downstairs that you were too goddamn stupid to retrieve? So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look. I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. You know, these people are phenomenally stupid. It was literally downstairs. If they had just opened their eyes, they would have, well, hell, if they had opened their ears, they would have heard the generator running downstairs and would have known what it what it was. Hello? I already Anybody have actually, a stupid... I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Yeah, no, maybe you your luck's turning around. the power around. armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Whoa, whoa, nobody said me go get it. What the hell's wrong with you? Go walk your ass up there and get it. I'll give you the, the power core. The fusion core. Oh, a comic book. Hell yeah! You've collected an issue of Robco Fun. Fascinating. Um, well, you've always got a coffee pot. Any coffee in there? Yeah, you're 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 a real genius. I'm not even gonna say anything. Dog meat. I wish you were a attack killer dog you can just kill all these people because they really don't look worth saving to me what's your story old lady well she's drugged out of her mind there's no sense talking Careful, to her kid. there's something coming and, and it's it's angry uh you're thinking about me i'm already here look at this loser sitting over here what are you whining about you all right oh no 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 no, no. Oh my god. Okay, I, these people... <sighs> Look, I'm sure you've all had a rough time, okay? But you need to get it together. And while you're not looking, I'm going to take this perception Excellent. bobblehead, because I sure as heck can use that. Thank you very much. Well, I guess I'm done here. Uh, you people are just going to die, and... Well, hey way it goes, you know? What's back here? Any more raiders around? I don't guess so. Anything in the desk? Cotton yarn. <laughs> oh, duct tape. Inside the filing cabinet. I'll take that for heck yeah. Oh, Pre-war money. And sell it, I guess. <laughs> Ha ha ha. 
You, know, you people are pathetic. I, I have no interest in, in helping you. I hope you die. Well, I mean, I don't hope you die, but, you know, you get, it's the apocalypse. You got to learn to suck it up a little bit. So, how do I get up there to that verdy bird? There might be some good treasure up there. How do I get over there? Go downstairs and then go back up? Maybe? There's no way through here, right? I guess I could go this way. I came this way. What a snazzy little tune! Archaic music. Ah, oh, cooler. I think I raided that already, however. Oop, fan. Adjustable wrench, what I've always wanted. But I'm going to pass it up this time. I duct tape. Beer bottle. You fill it up with water. Cap stash. That actually may be their cap stash. Oh well. I can't get me glitching over trying to get this cap stash. <laughs> they lost their cap stash. <laughs> I could probably use a toothbrush for hygienic purposes. I'm not going to use that one. Dog meat. I guess we can hop down here. I'm not seeing how to get up there. Well, probably through there, right? Through that exit. Okay. I want to check out that birdie bird. Could be some pretty cool treasure hanging around there. I need to get one floor up above. How do I do that? How do I get up there? Um, I'm seriously not seeing it. What the heck? It would have to be pretty close to these losers. I mean, they wouldn't. It's not going to be there. Go, go on. Well, it's showing me to go downstairs. It has really been such a long time since I played this silly game. I do not remember where stuff is anymore. All right, these go up. Now I'm on the next landing where I need to be. So how do you get up there? say it's through here but that would not be right check out this exit sign okay yeah that's it I'm gonna 
and see what kind of cool stuff is up here. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Minutemen, like five people scrabbling for survival. And they're kind of living in their own la-la land, calling themselves the Minutemen. Uh, what can you do with people like that? What'd you find, dog me? <laughs> I like the way you teleport around there, bud. More caps. Awesome. Bobby pin. Duct tape. Hmm. Somebody's log. Beer bottle. I guess this is the power armor they were talking about. And that must be the minigun. I, I like say, I'm not too interested in the Minutemen or... I mean, they, they don't want to help themselves, you know? And I'm not the Red Cross. Let's listen to this. Let's go ahead and play this. Listen to this. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October 23rd, while en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause... EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. This is Mike Daly, signing out. Good luck, and God bless America, or what's left of it. Well, crap. That sort of put a hook into me. That was kind of sad, dog meat, you know? A recording back from the nuclear war. One person's misery. This person I can relate to. This guy I can relate to. Those people in there, not so much. You know what I'm saying, dog meat? So, I guess. It looks like this. We might as well grab the power armor, take the minigun, and go ahead and give it to the mini Minutemen. Not because I like them, not because I care about them, but that recording really put a hook in me. So, when you join us next episode, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're going to do. We're going to grab this power armor, grab the minigun, and see what happens from there. So, please join us. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like this episode. And when we return, it's me, Dog Meat, and the power armor. <laughs>